Welcome back to Anderson Smoke Show. We're coming at you with a classic, and we are going to smoke some beer can chickens. Stick around, see how we do it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell so that you can keep up with the latest content. Smash that like button and write me a comment. Let me know what you think. Now let's get at these beer can chickens. Here, take this. Dude, I said we were doing beer can chickens. What the f is this? It's a shotgun beer. Oh, jeez. Cheers. Salute. All right, we're gonna start off today by emptying out a little less than half of each of these cans of Miller Lite. And don't worry, not a drop of this will go to waste. All right, so I took my pocket knife and I broke open the top of these cans and kind of smashed them off to the side so that we have a nice wide opening. The reason why I did that is one, to let as much steam out as possible, and two, so that we could put some spices and herbs down inside of that. So as that boils inside of the chicken, we get a little bit more flavor than just the beer. So let's go ahead and season this up. All right, so for seasoning inside of the beer, we're gonna go ahead and use the Spiceology Turkey Rub, and I'm gonna use about a teaspoon of this, and I'm just gonna pour that right down into the beer can. And just a heaping teaspoon. Do a little bit more for good luck. In both of these. Then I'm gonna go with about a clove of garlic. So I've got this pre-minced garlic, a half a teaspoon is about a clove. And I really don't care how accurate that is, it's just for seasoning there. All right. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get these ready. I'm gonna set them into these beer can chicken holders here. There we go. So the next thing that we need to do is pick up these chickens. and just get that bird sitting right on that beer can, just like so. Now I trimmed the neck off of this, and I trimmed the tail, and I trimmed a little bit of the fat off. Just makes things a little bit easier to work with. All right, They're sitting there like twins. Look, they're friends. So in order to seal these chickens, the neck is still open and I can see right down into the beer can. I've got two small potatoes and I am going to size them up like a wedge. And I am just going to twist and Push that down in there nice and tight. All right. And that's just to seal up that neck cavity. Keep all that juice and that vapor and steam and everything else right down inside of there where it belongs. This should be enough now. There we go. So now if you look there at those chickens, we've got those potatoes wedged in there nice and tight. All right, so I wanna go ahead and baste these a little bit with some avocado oil. I've rinsed and dried these chickens off with some paper towel. I just want something good to crisp up the skin a little bit and a base for the seasoning to stick. I'm not gonna to go too crazy. Just pour a little bit of this in my hand. On 
on to the next one. All right, so today we're gonna season these separately. Courtesy of Uncle Steve from Uncle Steve Shake, we're gonna go ahead and use the Gator Shake on the one here with the big potato. I'm just gonna start to sprinkle that on there. I'm being real generous with that. Once again, that is Uncle Steve's Shake. This is the Gator Shake. This is a good citrus flavor. It's gonna go really well with that chicken. All right, and so for this other chicken, the one with the potato wedged a little bit deeper, we're gonna go with the Suckle Busters Clucker Dust. This is the first season that I've got from Suckle Busters. I'm really excited to try this out. And I'm gonna just go ahead and be nice and generous with that here. We'll start on top. We're just gonna work our way from the top down. All right, we've got both of these chickens seasoned up. We've got the big potato with the Uncle Steve's Gator Shake, and we got the little potato with the Suckle Busters Clucker Dust. We've got the smoker preheating outside. We're gonna go ahead and get these in here in just a moment. All right, so for these beer can chickens, we're gonna go ahead and use the Pit Boss Classic Blend Pellet. That is the Pecan, the Hickory, and the Mesquite Blend. This stuff is fantastic. Come and check it out. So this classic blend in comparison to others, it goes well with the beef, the pork, the lamb, the poultry, and the fish. I personally really truly like pecan smoke when it comes to poultry, whether that's turkey, whether that's chicken, whether that's pheasant, that pecan pairs really well. Let's go ahead and get this loaded up. All right, we've got these chickens prepped and ready to go into the smoker. Let's go ahead and do it. All right, we've got the chickens in the smoker, which we've preset to 225 degrees. We're gonna leave it at 225 for one hour, then we're going to turn it up to 275 until the chickens are done. Check back soon. So we've had these chickens in the smoker at 225 degrees for an hour. We're gonna go ahead and crank this up to 275 to finish it off. But before we do, let's go ahead and take a quick peek. Oh man, them birds are looking good. All right, we've had these beer can chickens in for five and a half hours. That was one hour at 225 degrees and four and a half hours at 275 degrees. These were about six and a quarter pound each, so these did take a little bit longer, but that's just due to weight. It is time to get these out, let's do it.
All right, we've got these birds out. They are steaming, they are piping hot. They have some beautiful color. Why don't we get these in, give them a try. We always wanna be safe when we're using sharp knives. I've got my cut proof glove underneath this. And then I've got my rubber gloves to go on top. This here is the Suckle Busters. This here is the Uncle Steve Shake. We're gonna start with that Suckle Busters here. This thing is so tender. It's like falling apart as I'm grabbing it. Oh man, look at that juice. Oh, look at, look at those legs just falling off. Holy cow. All right, let's go ahead and cut into the breast here. There went my potato wedge. Look at that. Look at that juice. Man, that is some juicy looking chicken there. So we'll bring this out front here. I want that skin. Let's go ahead and taste that. This is the Suckle Busters Cluck and Dust on a smoked chicken. I think that's one of the best chickens I've ever had in my life. That is real good. That chicken is so tender and juicy, and those spices are absolutely perfect. I, I have to try that again. I feel like I feel like I'm in La La Land. Try that again. Damn. That is some good chicken. Now let's try that Uncle Steve shake. I really wedged that can up in that chicken butt. Oh man, there we go. This one is easily just as tender. Oh my, that, <laughs> that entire leg just fell off. Well, let's do the same here. Cut into that chicken breast there. This thing is so tender, the entire thing is just falling apart. So that is a big chunk of that chicken breast there, that Uncle Steve shake. You got a little bit of a smoke ring there. That skin on that chicken does deflect a lot of the smoke, but it's it's great, I love the skin off a of chicken, especially seasoned up like this. This is Uncle Steve's shake, gator shake on a smoked chicken. Go ahead and give this a try. Mm. Wow. Truthfully, I don't know which one I like better. The Gator Shake has a little bit of an acidic, a citrus taste. And when you just taste the seasoning in your hand, it is, it is kind of bitter, kind of tart. But I feel like those spices have really soaked in and I don't really get that same tart uh, taste that I got before. Try that again. Wow. That is really good. I think I need to compare that again with that Suckle Busters. So back to the Suckle Busters clucker dust. They're so different. I, I don't even think you can compare them. The Suckle Busters has a sweet and a little bit of a heat to it. While the Uncle Steve Shake Gator Shake, it's just a really good, kind of reminds me of like a Fiesta seasoning. Got a little bit of lime, got a little bit of salt. Mm. Those are equally just as good. 
as you can see, I got a lot on my hands right now. It's time to chow down. We'll see you next time. Thanks again for tuning in to Anderson Smoke Show. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel so that you can keep up with the latest content.